Benid Bar Numbers 21. And when King Arad the Kenai Ani, which dwelt in the Negev, heard tell that Yasharael came by the way of the spies, then he fought against Yasharael and took some of them prisoners. And Yasharael vowed a vow unto Yahuwah and said, If you will indeed deliver at this people into my hand, then I will utterly destroy at their cities. And Yahuwah hearkened to the voice of Yasharael and delivered up at the Kenai Enaim, and they utterly destroyed them and at their cities. And he called the name of the place Kolmah. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass at the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spoke against Elohim and against Moshe. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Mitzrayim to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loathes this light bread. And Yahuwah sent at fiery serpents among the people, and they bit at the people. And much people of Yasharael died. Therefore the people came to Moshe and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against Yahuwah and against you. Pray unto El Yahuwah that he take away at the serpents from us. And Moshe prayed for the people. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Make you a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looks upon it, shall live. And Moshe made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten at any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. And the children of Yasharael set forward and pitched in Ovath. And they journeyed from Ovath and pitched at Aye Ha Avarim in the wilderness which is before Moab toward the sun rising. From thence they removed and pitched in the valley of Zered. From thence they removed and pitched on the other side of Arnon, which is in the wilderness that comes out of the coasts of the Amarim, for Arnon is the border of Moab, between Moab and the Amarim. Wherefore it is said in the Sefer of the wars of Yahuwah, at what he did in the Red Sea and at in the brooks of Arnon, and at the stream of the brooks that goes down to the dwelling of Ar, and lies upon the border of Moab. And from thence they went to Be'er, that is the well whereof Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, Gather at the people together, and I will give them water. Then Yasharael sang at this song, Spring up, O well, sing ye unto it. The princes dug the well, the nobles of the people dug it, by the direction of the Torah giver, with their staves. And from the wilderness they went to Matana. And from Matana to Nakal El El, and from Nakal El El to Bamath. And from Bamath in the valley, that is in the country of Moab, to the top of Pigah, which looks toward Yashiaman. And Yasharael sent messengers unto Sichon, king of the Amorim, saying, Let me pass through your land. 
We will not turn into the fields or into the vineyards. We will not drink of the waters of the well, but we will go along by the king's highway until we be past your borders. And Si Chon would not suffer at Yasharael to pass through his border. But Si Chon gathered at all his people together and went out against Yasharael into the wilderness. And he came to Yahatz and fought against Yasharael. And Yasharael smote him with the edge of the sword and possessed at his land from Arnan unto Yabak even unto the children of Ammon, for the border of the children of Ammon was strong. And Yashadael took at all these cities, and Yashadael dwelt in all the cities of the Amorim, in Chezban, and in all the villages thereof. For Chezban was the city of Saichon, the king of the Amorim, who had fought against the former king of Moab, and taken at all his land out of his hand, even unto Arnan. Wherefore they that speak in Proverbs say, Come into Chesbon, let the city of Saichon be built and prepared. For there is a fire gone out of the Chesbon, a flame from the city of Saichon. It has consumed Ar of Moab and Baali, Bamath of Arnan. Woe to you, Moab! You are undone, O people of Kamash. He has given his sons that escaped and his daughters into captivity unto Sichon, king of the Amarim. We have shot at them. Chesban is perished even unto Divaran, rather Divan. And we have laid them waste even unto Nofak, which reaches unto Medeva. Thus Yasharael dwelt in the land of the Amorim. And Moshe sent to spy out at Yaazer, and they took the villages thereof, and drove out at the Amorim that were there. And they turned and went up by the way of Bashan. And Og, the king of Bashan, went out against them, he and all his people, to the battle at Adriai. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Fear him not, for I have delivered him into your hand, and at all, and at all his people, and at his land. And you shall do to him as you did unto Saichon, king of the Amorim, which dwelt at Chesban. So they smote him, and at his sons, and at all his people, until there was none left him alive, and they possessed at his land.